Hello friend, welcome to the channel Pharmacy Dictionary. In today's topic, we are going to study about the idiosyncrasy or we can say idiosyncratic reaction. And in this topic, there will be a basic introduction as per your syllabus. So we all are human being. By superficially, by phenotype, we may look similar. But if you go inside the genotype, we are not so similar with each other. So in the same situation, if I will give the paracetamol or any single tablet, for example, to all of the human being all over the world, almost all will respond same for that particular given drug but there will be a few person or few patient will respond in uncharacteristized way so that response which is not assumable which is not expectable which is not characteristic that may be considered as a idiosyncratic reaction that means any reaction given by drug which is not related to its pharmacology profile or pharmacodynamic profile that is totally depend upon the some genotype of that particular patient which is not intentionally which is not identical with the other one that is called idiosyncrasy so let's start to this topic with few example and few definition the first one say idiosyncrasy is a non immunological hypersensitivity of a substance let me explain you this paragraph first then i will move further what is the meaning of this hypersensitivity and non immunological reaction see first of all we have to stand with the immunological response then we will go for the further one immunological response or immunological reaction is a simple reaction just because of the antigen and antibody in our body there are so many antibody which function as a protective mechanism which act like a bodyguard for our body whenever there is an entry of any foreign material it could be of anything either of protein molecule either fur of animal or anything else which is activating our antibody is simply considered as an antigen so whenever antigen enters in our body our antibody recognize that that is not our part of body and it treat it as a foreign material and there is a start of reaction that is called antigen antibody reaction or antigen antibody interaction and just because of this interaction and we can say the fighting between these two agent there is a response this is called immunological hypersensitivity response why it is termed as a hypersensitivity normal sensitivity is good if i am having some kind of unnatural object then it is okay then my body will respond or my body should respond for that particular agent but if my body is responding in a hyper way that means overactive then in a small proportion small entry of antigen it may react like it is a big one so this is called hypersensitivity it is very common and very usual with the antigen but you should remember this line but this is not in case of idiosyncrasy that is why it is written as a non immunological response that is no relationship between antigen or antibody in this in this reaction which is caused by a drug but actually this is not caused by caused by the drug. this was initiated by the drug but is just was responsible because of the body function because of the genotype that is called idiosyncratic reaction now coming to the next paragraph in the same line without connection to any pharmacological pharmacological toxicity specifically pharmacodynamic profile see what is the meaning of pharmacological response or pharmacological toxicity any toxicity which is based upon the nature of drug its dose its duration of intention which is a uh, time at which you are taking any kind of medicine or we can say simply duration of therapy so it is related with that particular person if he or she is having any kind of unwanted effect just because of his pharmacological profile but in case of idiosyncrasy there is no such relationship between its pharmacological profile or pharmacodynamic because every drug is having two type of activity it may provide either desirable action or it may produce either undesirable action that's depend upon the profile of drug but in case of idiosyncrasy a drug is a neutral drug is not causing drug is not able to cause any kind of problem or any kind of immunological hypersensitivity it's not a fault of drug because the same drug is not causing any problem in among the population it is not causing problem in me and you but it may cause a problem in some individual in a very rare cases so that is not actually a problem of drug that is a relationship between its genotype and the interaction of that particular drug so all fault goes for the human being which is a specific or unique in unique from the population coming to the next point it is an individual abnormal drug reaction which is generally not seen in a population as i explained you earlier it is a complete responsibility of a person and its or genotype and it is not normal it is not usual it is not commonly seen in the population suppose i have 20 
person in my classroom and i am giving them vitamin c tablet like limsi saksi these are very good tablet for the health point health point of view but in out of 100 people any one of the student will respond in a hypersensitivity reaction which is not based on immunological profile he or she is showing some abnormal activity other than the normal students so he or she is a uh, responsive for this type of drug just because of this idiosyncratic reaction that is not a profile of drug that is not a drug dose or drug duration but it is based on the genotype of that particular student or he or she is suffering from any kind of genotyping activity now coming to the next point that say restricted to the particular genotype as i explained you it is dependent upon the genotype it is not a fault of drug it is not a fault of pharmacological profile it is based on genotype now what is the meaning of genotype it is made of two words the first word is geno and the second one is type. that means it is based on the type of gene sequence genetic sequence we must say so this is just because of this genotype sequence genotype phenomena so it is called genotypic symptoms or we can say genotypic responsibility is responsible for the causing of idiosyncrasy and that is why there is a uncharacteristic reaction in drug profile in normal case we know what is going to be happen suppose someone is taking paracetamol though then we know it that he will she will have kind of liver problem if it increasing or exceeding the normal dose reaction if someone is taking antibiotic then we will know this kind of reaction will be take place so in this case of normal physiological response of any pharmacological drug or pharmacological toxicity we know the chances we know or we can calculate the chances what could be happen in the future but in case of this genotypic reaction or idiosyncrasy it is uncharacteristic that means it is not having any specific symptom or characteristic visualization that what could be happen in a future if she or he will take kind of drug so coming to the next point that is a important note they should remember this there is a certain bizarre drug effect of drug are also included Uh, we will see about the adverse drug reaction and there are so many type and sub type of adverse drug reaction under that type there is a important classification that is called bizarre drug reaction we will see it later if you want to grasp this knowledge in an advance but in hindi language you may prefer our main parent channel that is solution pharmacy we have uploaded and we have completed all pharmacology topics but that is in hindi so if you prefer hindi then please go through that channel the link is given in the description box so let me explain you with the help of small repository diagram see in this box i have plotted few circles like these circles are of black color red color and green color so let me explain you the representation of these circles so first one say normal population are represented by this black circle idiosyncratic patient or idiosyncrasy reaction is represented by the red color circle and the bizarre reaction are denoted by a green color dot or circle so in this frame as you can see there are so many circles which are in black color so these are all are the normal individual nothing will going to happen with this if you give any kind of drug suppose we are giving x drug to all of them in response of this x drug the all black circle will respond as usual as expected before taking or before giving any kind of drug but in this population there may be a chances of idiosyncrasy let me clear you first with this idiosyncrasy reaction idiosyncrasy is represented by red color so out of this population only a Uh, number of only few number of st st student or population will respond abnormally or uncharacteristic manner because it is based on their genotypic profile and i am not so sure that will be it will be responsible for the different type of activity or not so only few person are responsive in this case idiosyncratic manner so this red circle is representing the idiosyncrasy reaction and as you have seen in this note few of the bizarre reaction bizarre adverse drug reaction can be categorized under idiosyncratic reaction so there is a class of bizarre reaction that is a type b adverse drug reaction and under the type b or bizarre drug reaction idiosyncrasy will be a sub type of them so this is simple expression regarding the idiosyncrasy reaction coming to the next point it has no relationship with the dose and the duration of the drug therapy as i explained you it is having no relationship between the dose and the duration of the therapy in the normal case the 500 mg paracetamol is okay that is recommended by the physicians but if you increase the dose suppose 5 instead of 500 you will take 2000 mg of paracetamol that is obviously will be converted into toxic response and if patient has asked to take this medicine for the 2 to 3 days maximum but you are taking it for longer time more than a month then unwanted effect pharmacological toxic effect is guaranteed for that particular activity that means the unwanted effect of paracetamol is totally dependent upon the dose that means concentration 
एंड ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द थेरेपी बट इन केस ऑफ एडियोसिंथेटिक रिएक्शन दिस इज टोटली इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द ड्रग डोज एंड द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ ड्रग थेरेपी इफ यू आर टेकिंग अ सिंगल ड्रग देन यू हैव आल्सो चांसेस टू प्रोड्यूस सम काइंड ऑफ इंडियोसिंथेसिस रिएक्शन इफ यू आर टेकिंग द ड्रग अंडर द प्रिस्क्रिप्शन लिमिट देन ओनली यू हैव आल्सो चांसेस फॉर डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इडियोसिंथेटिक रिएक्शन सो दिस इज नो रिलेशनशिप दिस इज फ्री फ्रॉम द डोज एंड ड्यूरेशन ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर ड्रग थेरेपी दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट सो दिस लाइन एक्सप्लेन यू ऑल द पॉइंट दिस इज द एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ ऑल इडियोसिंथेटिक इंट्रोडक्शन कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट वन द एग्जांपल बार्बिट्यूरेट कॉज एक्साइटमेंट एंड मेंटल कंफ्यूजन इन सम इंडिविजुअल इन जनरल केस बार्बिट्यूरेट आर अ ड्रग इन व्हिच इज प्रिस्क्राइब्ड इन मेनी ऑफ केस लाइक थेरेटिव हिप्नोटिक्स एंटी एपिलेप्टिक ड्रग एंटी एंजाइटी ड्रग एंड मेनी अदर सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम एक्टिंग कैटेगरी बट इन केसेस ऑफ रेयर केसेस और वी कैन से इन केस ऑफ एडियोसिंक्रेटिक और बिजारी रिएक्शन इट मे डेवलप द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ अनवांटेड एक्टिविटी लाइक एक्साइटमेंट एंड मेंटल कंफ्यूजन दैट इज नॉट applicable for the all the population it is restricted and limited to few number of patient only now now coming to the next point that says quinine and quinidine these are also an important example quinine and quinidine both are isolated from the cinchona bar quinine is a potent anti malarial drug whereas the quinidine is used as a anti arrhythmic drug we will see it in coming semesters so these two drugs can cause cramps diarrhea asthma in some individual you know all the meaning of this word cramps will abnormal feeling like a squeezing activity inside your stomach the diarrhea is a watery stool formation evacuation of water is stool asthma is a problem in breathing and healing because of uh, bronchoconstriction a same in individual only in pure individual along with different types of Uh, symptoms also like angio edema of face and hypotension so these two three example are representing the process of idiosyncrasy in the short at the last i would say idiosyncratic reaction or idiosyncrasy is a phenomena in this case any individual except from the population only rare in the cases respond to a drug in a different way and produce some kind of unwanted reaction that is totally independent upon the pharmacological profile dose and the duration of drug therapy simply this is called idiosyncratic reaction and the process is known as a idiosyncrasy so friend that's all for the day thank you very much for watching this video the reference for today's topic is kd tripathi and few literature from the internet survey and if you want to take the screenshot of this white board section then you may have it after some time so at last thank you very much again please give us your feedback in comment box thank you take care